Remember when we all agreed fixing art was bad? Remember when we all said if we draw our own black characters, no one would edit them and change their skin tone to another color? Well, apparently we were wrong and fixing art is back and it's worse than you can imagine. I beg your pardon? Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about actually I really didn't think I was going to be talking about this today. I honestly wanted to just talk about the entire situation with the Little Mermaid and how people on Twitter are just going crazy with that because she's black. But then this happened and it's just... Cut the cameras. So for those of you who don't know, White Manga, who's a popular figure in the art community and makes really good entertaining videos on his YouTube channel about creating original black characters and he also teaches how to draw manga on his channel, made a tweet where he talked about his new manga with a black lead character which also happens to be shonen manga's first female black lead protagonist and someone on Twitter took offense because why is the character black? Isn't anime and manga supposed to be all white characters she isn't supposed to be black we don't ever want to see that and they figured the only reasonable thing for them to do is to fix the character by making them more where do i even begin with this one this is an original character it's not fan art it's not a black edit it's not even a genshin impact character it's as if anytime twitter sees black artists doing their thing and just getting recognition from it especially when the community is supporting whatever it is the artist is doing someone always finds a way to bring in race and just ruins the fun for everyone out of spite for the most part when all these twitter creeps and art fixers want to feel morally right and then justify how weird and toxic they are to artists on the internet they specifically prey on artists who are having fun making fun out of their favorite characters and just reimagining them as darker skinned or people of color which is understandable and falls under fan art especially because it's not the canon representation of the character and then next thing you know these art fixers come in and pretend to criticize them and then they claim to fix the drawing and mostly out of everything that could be wrong with the drawing like I don't know, maybe the anatomy is bad, or the clothing is wrong, or the design could be better, but nope, uh uh uh, the only thing they come in to fix is just the skin tone of the character. Apparently to them, the only thing that matters about the character is the color of their skin. Doesn't matter if the character has a shitty design or his backstory is just weird and flawed. Once they fix the skin tone by making it whatever color is morally appropriate to them at that time, they're fine. And this really bothers me because all along we all thought that if we make our own indigenous characters and then give them backstories that are based around black culture or just African culture in general, to make it difficult for people to just come in and want to fix the character, especially because it's an original story and an original character. So anyone who intends to criticize the drawing will have to look for other things wrong with it aside from just the skin tone. But now that we have something like this actually happening, that just means you literally can't do anything for these people to leave you alone. What even pisses me off is White Manga has it written in several tweets just on his page what the story is over and over again. Shonen Manga's first original black main protagonist. Cast is a physically disabled hand, builds a robotic mobile laboratory arm where the science black girl magic happens, training to be a smith. They aren't usually women or black kids. So the fact that they can see this and just choose to ignore it just so they could be toxic and weird on the internet is just beyond me. Every time I try to put myself in these art fixers minds just to see how they reason and what even makes them to make all these racially motivated hateful attacks at artists, the only thing that usually stands out is the fact that they just can't stand to see anything that has the tag black in it, especially when it comes to anime or video games and movies. So they just resort to gatekeeping these characters that most of the time are not even canonically white in the first place. But because media has forced us to believe that every character's default skin tone should be light skinned, so whenever they see a character that is dark skinned and is a protagonist or plays a major role in any story or anime or whatever, all their triggers just go off and alarms start ringing in their 
heads at the same time. It literally just makes me believe these people think that they are the only ones allowed to enjoy pop culture. I'm 90% sure the person who made this fix probably didn't even read the book and they absolutely have no idea what the story is about. But then again, they just saw this image on their timeline and they immediately felt it didn't look appropriate to them so they just wanted to gatekeep their fandom i guess but then also knowing how the internet works these days this person might probably just be trolling and trying to get a reaction out of white manga and everyone else in the art community which is still such a weird thing to do since literally everyone knows art fixing is just bad and frowned upon in the art community so why should you even think taking another person's work and fixing it without their permission would be a good way to troll everybody in the first place. Like, who asks? I'm just glad white manga is getting all the love and support out of this entire situation and everyone else is just literally dunking on the art fixer and calling them racist. I hate that fixed it for you. Like, no you didn't. You just made it awful looking with your terrible recollection job. I love seeing a black protagonist for once. Your racist morons are why people hate anime and manga fans. The thing is, not all anime and manga fans are toxic, but then people like this make it seem as if the entire fandom is just filled with people that are toxic. It's just the same thing with the gacha fandom or the Genshin Impact fandom. There may be some problematic people, but there are also good people in the fandom as well. Not everyone is toxic, but one bad apple can't spoil the barrel. Prove that just make new characters was always an excuse. This just shows us that not even making your own original characters will save you from the Twitter art fixers and weirdos. At this point, we might just have to stop drawing entirely or not even exist for them to be happy. Every time I see original black characters, that made me shut up and appreciate. Unlike some people, especially for those who don't get out of their anti-SJW phase. I used to be a child until I got out of it. Representation matters no matter what. Even this character is already established. There's people who pretend to be anti-SJWs and never get over the fact that the Tumblr era was literally left behind in 2016 along with most of Betty Wap's music career and they just forget that things actually work differently in the real world and people can draw whatever character they like and give them whatever skin tone they like as long as it's not offending anyone. If it ain't made in Japan or with Japanese publishers or companies, it ain't manga. I mean, yeah, but like... Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! So that just proves you wrong. To be honest, any race swapping is bad. Odds are that person did that just to trigger you. And considering how many white characters are altered similarly, I ain't surprised by it. But I can see your acting just as others do when we see a white character fixed. Doesn't feel good, eh? Okay, I think people are getting the wrong impression from this. It's not like we hate to see black characters fixed and we love to see white characters fixed. Just don't fix any character at all, regardless of their skin color. All the artists out and criticize them all you want if you think they are blackwashing or whitewashing. But fixing art by yourself is just a big no. Genshin Impact fandom stop being racist challenge. Okay, this is getting pretty serious. What even is going on with the Genshin Impact fandom? Why is everyone just calling your fandom out? Are you guys okay? Blink twice if you need my help. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Please leave a like on the video and share it with a friend. And there will be a link in the description to go check out White Manga's comic if you haven't. And for all the new people watching, please do subscribe to the channel. And for my pretty penguins, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.